Okay, one thing we noticed in our soil test here for this uh, this new little patch we're starting up is that the pH was very low. Uh, I believe it was also low in calcium and magnesium. Uh, a couple of things we're going to do to remedy that is uh, we're going to add some dolomatic lime, dolomitic lime, uh, into the soil and such. And what we've done here so far is we've kind of came in and we've given a, a very light disc uh, disking to this area. Uh, it was it's been in grass for as long as I can remember, at least uh, you know 12, 12 years or more here. Uh, but uh, we've just kind of broken uh, the top layer of the of the grassy area here a little bit like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to apply the lime, and then we're going to disc this area really heavy to uh, to do two things. Number one, to start breaking up the soil a little bit better, and also to to work the lime actually into the soil. Now, in a uh, true survival situation or uh, a situation where we didn't have any resupply of, of, of uh, you know, going to the garden store and things like that to get like this lime and things like that, the other thing we could do is we could pile up uh, brush, wood, and things like that <clears throat> and burn, uh, burn them right in the area where we want to garden. Now, uh, it's not going to act as, as fast acting or uh, as strong as, uh, as like this dolomatic lime and such will. But it will help the uh, help the uh, act in the same way as lime does, as far as uh, the, uh, bettering your pH and such like that in the soil. The other big uh, factor about uh, burning your wood right there is the wood ash would also add some organic matter into the soil as it was uh, as it was uh, further decaying after it was burnt and such. So again, we're going to do that in this area as well too. We're going to kind of set up a test area here where we'll uh, we'll use regular dolomitic lime in this area here and then back in this back spot what we'll do is we will we will not create correct the pH with the regular lime we'll just go through and we'll burn we're gonna clear all this little section right in here and we're gonna pile uh, any of the smaller brush and things like that that we don't use for firewood in in this section and we'll have a big bonfire here later on and we'll see uh, we'll get another soil test maybe next spring and we'll see uh, how that, you know, after we've dissed that in and such, how that's really affected the pH. Um, <clears throat> but again, you're not going to probably get the, uh, uh, using the, using, uh, you know, the wood ash and such, you're probably not going to get uh, the uh, trace elements like the, uh, like the calcium and the magnesium and such, the boost to those that you would get with commercial store-bought lime. Uh, one thing that's very important is again if your if your pH is off or <clears throat> some of your trace elements are off and such, it can actually lock up some of the other nutrients in the soil. So uh, good idea to about every two three years at least uh, hit a light liming at least on your uh, on your uh, garden areas and such. And this is a good thing to stockpile. Uh, these bags right here, it's a 50 pound bag. You can get it at like uh, Tractor Supply Warehouse and the other big. Uh, kind of big box type farm and feed stores, uh, probably farm and fleet up north, things like that. This was, I believe, $6.95, something like that. If you're smart, you go in there, you look around, they have some broken bags, you offer them half price for the broken bags, take it home, put some trash bags over it so moisture doesn't get in there, and bada bing, you're, you've gotten, uh, you've saved some money in there as well too. <clears throat> but lime is going to be very important to do to get into your soil. Um, you know, I'm sure there's probably areas of the country that, that don't need them as a, as a rule. Down here where we are in the southeast, most of your soil is going to be fairly, uh, fairly acidic and it's going to need that lime to, uh, to uh, raise the pH a little bit. This area right here, I'll bust the uh, soil test report out here in a little while, but I want to say it was fairly low. It was in the even the uh, high fours or low fives. Uh, and of course we want it in the about six to seven uh, range as far as the pH. So we're going to apply this. We're going to spread this out uh, using a uh, <clears throat> just a standard, you know, uh, uh, garden spreader type thing like you'd use for grass seed and things like that. And you can also pitch it by hand. But again, the the uh, uh, spreader is going to give you a little bit more of a uniform uh, application of it. And then we're going to disc it in to get it to get it worked into the soil and to uh, further break up some of this uh, these grassy areas and things like that. We're not going to sit here and worry about every little stick and things like that. Uh, you know, this will start coming out as, as, as we get in here and get working it to get something in here. Also, you know, it does break down. It does help the soil a little bit. Uh, typically wood 
um, you know, putting too much wood, like uh, wood shavings and things like that, uh, if there isn't a high nitrogen source, will actually deplete some nitrogen from the soil. So uh, <clears throat> something to consider if you're, if you're just going to do the organic route and such. Most of your, uh, you know, uh, manures and such are, are low in nitrogen.